Hi there. I'm going to try really hard to keep this from being like a 20 minute mini workshop on filters. Okay, so what is in the free download that you were given is just a few filters that you use in the library. Only in the library. I'm going to show you how to use them or how to install them at the end of this video. So I can use filters when I'm inside a collection, when I'm in my catalog, or when I search by keywords. So I'm going to show you first. Um, searching by um, a collection and then I'll do keywords because it, how it's going to operate is a little different. So here I've rejected a few images, meaning I hit X on my keyboard and put a little black flag. And if I had a ton of images that I had imported and I had rejected a bunch, I would want to be able to quickly identify them by going and just hitting rejected. And now you can also come up to edit and down to select by flag and then rejected. But the filter is just a much quicker way to do that. So here are the ones that are rejected in of these pictures in this collection. And I can select all of them very quickly by doing Command A or Control A on a PC, Command A on a Mac, and then hitting delete. Now, it just deleted them from the collection. They're still in my catalog, they're still on my hard drive. Okay, now I'm gonna do another one. I'm just gonna turn the filters off so you can see. If you want to get rid of that particular um, sort, because basically that's what we're doing is we're sorting by things. And let's say we want to just find the virtual copies. Well, there we go. I have got two virtual copies and I made kind of a black and uh, brown and white um, image. So we can search by and only find the virtual copies and export those all at once if we want to. Um, if you want to see which ones are JPEGs. And there's none that are JPEGs in this collection. But if I searched by my collect my whole catalog, then we could identify the JPEGs. Okay, just for whatever reason, you might be thinking, "Oh, I wish I could find just the JPEGs I shot in that group or whatever." Um, or if you're, you know, we're doing by keyword, so here we'll do by keyword now. So rain, a lot of those same images. In fact, only those same images. And now, if we sort by um, rejected and I select them all and hit delete it's going to ask me now if I want to delete from the desk or just remove from my catalog we didn't get that message before with the collection because with with the collection all it did is remove it from the collection it's still on our hard drive it's still on our Lightroom but now when we sort by keywords then it'll give us that choice so I might say I just want to delete from the disk you know there's not what I want all right, so I can permanently delete the files. I'm happy with that, I'm fine. So we'll go back to filters off and I want just by the rain here, there we go. And if I'm gonna see now, we see some other filters that we can sort by when we're in a keyword search, but if we're in a collection, okay, it's not automatically showing up, but we can go in there and, and, and sort some more or just use um, the filters down here. Okay, these were just saved searches using the filters up here. So how do you install the filters? That's the big question right now. So what you're gonna do is you're going to come in here and just copy. So wherever you downloaded the, um, make it so it's less busy. Here we go, that's better. Wherever you downloaded the filters to, say your desktop, then you're just going to highlight them all, highlight them all, and then do Command C or Control C, that's copy, you're just going to copy them, and then you're going to open up your Lightroom, okay, and go to your preferences, and on a Mac, it's Lightroom, preferences, on a PC, it's edit down to preferences, it'd be towards the bottom, so I'm on a Mac, I'm going to go Lightroom preferences, and then presets, the tab up here, Presets, Show Lightroom Presets Folder. So our Lightroom folder comes open, and now we're going to look for Filter Presets. See that? Filter Presets. And then you just do Command-V or Control-V. V is in Victor, and it'll copy them in there. Okay? And then restart your Lightroom, and it's just that easy. So I hope you enjoy using these. There were just some that I had made for myself that I used and I thought maybe it would be a good way to introduce you to filters. I already have them made for you. 
get you using them, get you sorting, get you thinking about the images you have in your Lightroom and how to find them.